I'm Assistant Chief Philip Bosquez with the Harris County Sheriff's Office. Can we go ahead and run through it? Yes, sir. Never okay. <clears throat> Good morning, I'm Assistant Chief Philip Bosquez with the Harris County Sheriff's Office and on behalf of Sheriff Ed Gonzalez, want to give everybody an update on the incident that we have currently going on downtown. Approximately at 8.54 this morning, we received a bomb threat addressed to one of the buildings down here in the jail complex. Shortly after that, we evacuated all uh, civilian staff out of, the, out of the area. We contacted our Sheriff's Department bomb squad K-9 unit SWAT, uh, Marine unit air support, as well as our partners with the Houston Police Department. We came in, we established a safety perimeter to increase uh, safety for the citizens and civilian personnel in the, in the area. And we began a search of the 1200 jail complex. <clears throat> Excuse me. All uh, uniformed personnel and officers on duty stayed within their designated areas of responsibility to ensure the safety and care and custody of all inmates that are, are in the jail facilities. And at this time, we don't have any concerns for the officers in the building, and the inmates are receiving all normal procedures under uh, emergency protocols at this point. We believe that the situation will be cleared up very shortly. And right now, we did push back the family visitation that are slated at one o'clock, but we fully intend to have the area clear and normal visitations with the family uh, this afternoon. Thank you. Chief, how credible was this you know, threat? We take everything critical. It, it seems like uh, kind of the same type situations you see when a bomb threat's called into a school or a large facility, but with as many lives that we're responsible for, we have to take everything as serious as possible. Which building was it? Uh, it the threat was directed towards the 1200 jail. The main one? Yeah. Yes, sir. A phone call on the non-emergency line. Are you out of line investigating, tracing that call? Absolutely. There, there's multiple things that are under investigation that I can't speak to at this point. Our main concern, again, was the safety of everybody in the complex, all our inmates that are inside the building, and all our officers. How far did you have to block off the street, like the, like the barricades, the streets? And what, I'm sorry. Like which streets were barricades, and you know the perimeter? We restricted access to to Baker Street, which is the main jail down towards 1200, and we also uh, restricted access to Top Street, which comes around the JPC building. But we're, as you can see, the normal flow of traffic is already being reinstated. One last question. What's the first thing you guys do when you get a phone call like that? What's the first thing you that, what goes into effect? How we activate, we activate through watch command and we start calling all resources that are available to handle that threat and uh, go into protection mode for all our inmates and all our workers that are in the buildings. Thank you, guys. Thank you.